We were very, very lucky to have found each other because we do, we spend all day in this studio and he'll be working on his side and I'll be working on mine and there's no conversations, which is probably really good for a marriage, but <laughs> it makes for a very quiet day. I started painting about 40 years ago when our first son was being born and my husband said, you can't be home doing nothing and he gave me a box of acrylic paints. And that's where I started, doing kitchen art. Anything that was in the kitchen, anything on the counter got painted on canvas, <laughs> on canvas. <laughs> I started using oil paints and have not gone back. I love using oils. Um, I mostly do landscapes. Recently doing mostly the, the forest scenes. I love the, the line and the, and the texture that you get in it. My work tends to be a little brushy, more abstract. Uh, if I'm doing a still life, that tends to get a little tighter. Um, but mostly it's, it's um, impressionistic. If I'm working in studio, I usually tint my canvas and then um, take off the tint in order to give me a, a negative. And from there I apply my paint. And, um, it's, it's usually pretty quick. I mean, the painting that I started a couple days ago that's on the easel, it, that's like three days of, of work. When I paint, I, all I really want to do is to give somebody the suggestion of what's there. I, I, don't, I don't feel as though I need to have every person that's standing there or every blade of grass. I want them to put those in there. Um, I think if you put too much, if I put too much in with as loose a brushwork as I do, it's, it, it kills it, just kills it. So this is how I clean my, my brush. It's a single ply toilet paper and it works the best. Just because I, I use so much paint that the only way to keep from having to use a mound of paper towels because it's just right there on my on my easel and I can turn it and it, it just rolls right into the bag. <laughs> it works, can I say? Robert's work it it runs the gambit because he is a very formal painter when he's doing his still lifes. Um, very photorealistic, and yet to get away from that very tight, tight work, he'll do something very abstract, almost surrealist. Um, and I think that's his, that, that's his way to loosen up. He calls me a, a happy painter, and Bob's a very, um, very focused painter. I love art. I especially love going to museums. I love the old masters. I. I can just get lost and look at a picture for quite a while and try to figure out how they did it, along with you know the story behind it. But usually uh, my still lifes are collages, things I just put together and try to make them speak to the person that looks at them, I guess. This is a picture done by William Bouguereau. Uh, I wanted it incorporated into my picture here of the niche with the statue in it. So what I did was first I transferred the picture using tracing paper, traced it out, traced the back of it, put it on the canvas like so, trace it again with a pencil, the picture comes out, take the painting using the blue painter's tape, doesn't hurt the uh, painting at all, put it on, then I start uh, my rendering. We try very hard not to be critical of each other. That's what she says, yeah. <laughs> I'll come around the corner sometime and say, you know, 
maybe you could tweak that a little bit. And he says, no, maybe not. So <laughs> it's, we're not very critical of each other. A lot of times people ask me what it is that drives me to paint. And I say it's kind of like that tickle that you have in the back of your throat that you just, you have to get at. That's how I feel about painting. If I'm away from it for three days, I go crazy because I need to get, there's something I need to get out. Um, and it's a release for me to sit at an easel all day long and just not focus on anything except dinner. <laughs>